Greetings people of Earth, welcome to Code with Chini. In this lecture, I'm going to talk about theming your Angular material design. Material design by default provides you with a set of pre-built themes such as deep purple amber, indigo pink and purple green .css. So basically indigo, in this case indigo is the primary color and pink will be the accent color. Theming in material design is done by composing multiple colors by uh, following color guide from this uh, URL which is will be in the description. It has a color palette wherein you will have a name of your color and 500 will be your default color Xcode and it will have shades of color such as 50, 100, 300 and then a set of another sh uh, shades of colors which is a hue and contrast points of your color palette. So be before beginning to customize our themes let's understand the palette that Angular uses to build a theme. So it consists of uh, primarily a primary palette uh, which is a widely used color across uh, all the screen components and accent palette used in floating action buttons or any such interactive elements. Okay and one palette which is ob obviously color palette used to convey an error message or error state and also a foreground palette and the background palette. Okay for text and icons and for the element backgrounds for the background palette. Okay. The main information here to take is all theme styles are generated statically at build time which means your app doesn't have to spend cycles generating styles on application startup. So when you when you uh, theme your application all your CSS, SCSS will be generated and compiled into a normal CSS code. So let's create a new application called ng new angular material custom theme. All right, once we uh, created a new application, we just need to get in, inside our application folder. So when we do a PWD, uh, personal working directory, it will show the, the path that we are inside. And so once that's done, let's install material design to our application, which is npm install, save, that will save in our package JSON and angular slash material. Also, we need to install Angular CDK and Angular animations. Okay, what once that's done, let's open our application in Visual Studio Code, which is code dot okay. So in the uh, app module TS, let's make some modifications such as uh, enabling an application support. So we need to add an animation support to our application which is in the import statement just below the browser module let's call it as browser animations module okay so this needs to be included command dot no actions okay so we need to import it manually for just for this one it should be browser animations module and that resides inside angular platform browser and animations yeah the error is gone now and once that's done let's go ahead and create a new file or new module called material module ts so we can add or remove any material components inside this so we can do all sorts of material related imports and exports inside this file we don't need to pollute or populate our uh, app module ts Okay, so this is just purely for modularity's sake. Material module.ts. I already have a list of material components that I need to add in our application. So what I'm going to do is I'm just copy paste over here. So what you'll see here is uh, I have all the material components imported and exported for our app module and call that as a material module fairly simple now we're going we're going to include this in our app module in our right our in our import statement just below the browsers module we can just call it as material module once that's done material module is included and let's add a material style to our application which is uh, we can we can do that by going to style css and give an import statement called import we need to add the url so uh, right now I'm going to pick out indigo CSS indigo pink CSS that will be our default style so I'm just gonna copy I just copy from here and then put it right over here but this this will never work out um, because of the path okay so we need to change the path that 
will be accepted in our application that will be at angular slash material pre-built themes and indigo pink that you can very well find it over here that's at angular and then material and in turn uh, where is that the pre-built theme is over here and there you go indigo pink css okay and lastly to get the application working fairly bit we need to add icons to our application so we can either we have two choices we can either add it over here or we can let me collapse this uh, we can go to index uh, what, where is index HTML and add a link uh, here for the icons but let's keep this a bit customizable so we don't we aren't going to add it inside our HTML we will straight away add it here so that way we know all the styling elements are added inside our main style CSS okay so it'll be URL and then where it is it should be okay so we have our we have our default theme as well as font icons for our application okay so for the icon references this is just a add-on tips you can go to material io tools icons and then you can find the list of icons that you need so let's say okay just listing up here so you have list of all the icons that you may use in your application now the next thing is let's modify a little bit in our app component i'm just, just going to get rid of all the things in the app component t uh, html i already have a, a bit of uh, components so i'm going to i'm going to just add it in in the app component all the source code will be available in the video description below so you can just find it out i'm going to add a few more styling elements in my style css sorry style scss okay so i think that's pretty much it so we have our body main toolbar and in the app component if you notice i have a main tool mat toolbar component mat tab group and a form field and progress bar so we got enough components to mess with the theming so uh, the next thing is we need to fire up our application and get this going so it will be ng serve rightly so we have our application fired up and it's running in localhost so we as we have seen in our our source code sorry for scrolling back and forth we have our material toolbar and then a tabbed uh, information here tab page and we have our input elements so now everything is indigo pink indigo is this bluish dark tint color and then the pink is obviously the pink color okay this is the main bit now we're going to create a custom we're going to customize this page okay to suit our our pro probably our requirement or our product based on our product theming we may need to change the colors of this application we don't need to just go ahead and then uh, paint the colors define a class and paint the colors no it's not going to be uh, we, we should not be doing that way so the best way is customizing the the material design theme itself right so for that let's go ahead and create a let's create a new file called custom theme css right so the next thing is we need to add our custom theme to our style css so which will be add import custom theme i think this will get this up and running yes okay now Let's comment the default style for now and look the effect uh, we currently have. So I'm gonna comment this out. Yes, uh, we got nothing, literally nothing. So uh, it's been, uh, it's just the bare bones without any stylings. Uh, it's very important to understand each and every step while creating a custom theme. So let's copy everything from Angular Material Design, which is a, which is right over, uh, where it is? Yeah, it's over here. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just lifting it from the angular guide theming which is you can find this in the below URL um, over here so nothing fancy here at all okay so when you copy paste that you may notice the changes apply to our application okay let's go one by one firstly it's the mat core okay the mat core will include all commonly used styles and it adds default styling to our material design right sorry to the material components like colors paddings overlays and so on material design consists of uh, as i discussed as i said earlier uh, the primary accent one okay so these three colors compo composes of uh, material design palettes for your application okay so hence while setting up your colors for your application make sure you supply a 
palette this is a palette instead of an x code x code is something like ash e d d d or um, so these kind of colors are hex codes okay now to know more about these palettes okay there are two things either you refer this url you will get all the information about the palettes like red pink and indigo so to to make things easier if you notice indigo palette default 500 the x code for that is 3f51b5 okay i'm going to inspect element over here 3f51b5 so one thing to note here is for an indigo as a primary color 500 the shade of 500 is the default that is applied and to reconfirm that let's go to the node modules angular and there is something called hang on a second in the material there is something called theming.scss this is the core file so if i go in, going to search for indigo you will get all the color this is the color palette you'll get all the color x code information over here so the 500 as this color so that's the primary color we have supplied it over here and that has been applied into our application as this x code okay it may sound confusing but that's how it's been laid out and it's it's fairly easy to understand as well now the next next thing is um if you notice in uh, one more uh, mix in is there one more uh, method is there called matte palette okay so we are using matte palette to supply an argument of a palette and assign a primary accent one and apply a overall theme for that okay so let's go to theming and search for matte palette now in the matte palette if you notice it is asking for a base palette the base palette is something that we have supplied over here right and a default palette, default color default 500 is nothing but uh, this this color that we have supplied so we haven't supplied uh, the default but we can go ahead and provide a default color no 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 why not we supply a separate different color called 200 so see to see the effect so the the shade is changed from um, the indigo to to the lighter shade of indigo now uh, the next two pa pa parameters like the lighter and the darker they are uh, uh, which is set upon the current theme and this may work in some components okay you, you you may not notice in various components but as far as i know this may possibly work in progress bar okay so uh, which is over here so i'm gonna just uh, see matte palette and we have a separate hue saturation lighter and darker shades of a pink if you look at the matte palette uh, function it will also accept a lighter and a darker uh, shades okay uh, they are uh, contrast based hues or lighter and darker shades which is set upon the current theme and this may work in some components and possibly in progress bar so in our application if you come here and see you, you can see a a shade in our progress bar so a darker shade and a lighter shade so um, the thing is I have not come across any um, components that uses the lighter and darker shades but whereas if you come across any such things you can very well write down in the comments below. So this is all about the extra two arguments that are set here and let me modify this A200 to something else called 800. Alright once I set the 500 as a default and then 800 as a somewhat darker shade of pink you will notice the shade is covered uh, it's it's using up the lighter uh, shade lighter argument okay so uh, if it's going to be a lighter we need to uh, supply a lighter pink such as 100 let's go ahead and check that and reconfirm there you go so you, there you have it and also to make things a little bit fun let's have 900 as our default color so the darkest of pink and the lightest of pink will be applied in our progress bar. So there you go. So everything is changed in the accent part of our application. Okay, so before I uh, blabber much about this information about the matte palette, let's jump in what's happening. Firstly, we need to import a max, uh, sorry, a mixin called matte core. And matte core includes all commonly used styles. And it should be used only once in your application. If, it, you, if used, then your application will end up wasting cycles creating multiple themes of same properties. Okay, so this is just one time use in your application. Just keep that in mind. And define a theme data structure 
Okay, in this section, we'll either use a matte light theme or a matte darker theme. Okay, matte light and matte dark, uh, they basically what they'll do is for a matte light, they'll uh, have a darker text, text and icons uh, for the for, for your uh, palette. Whereas for the matte darker, matte dark theme, uh, all your text and icons will be in a lighter shade for uh, to just give you a contrast for the dark background. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite uh, the default uh, custom theme from the angular material to my. So I'm going to just change it to my, my app, my app accent and my app one. OK, so I changed everything into into my customized variable. And thing is, uh, I haven't talked to you about the my one. It's an optional and defaults to red. So you don't have to include this here. It's just an optional parameter. Let's tweak a little bit into colors and see the changes if possible it provides. Okay, in the matte palette, matte palette basically takes in arguments such as a, a base palette, um, which is basically matte indigo or matte blue or any other type of palette, which we can find it in theming.scss. Okay, so there you have the list of arguments that it will accept. We pass the palette as a first argument and then the later arguments are just used for the base palette, which is default, which is the default is 500. I mean, 500 is the default and the lighter and the darker uh, shades, uh, which will range up to, uh, let's say for the indigo, it will range from 50 to 900. If you look at the palette chart, we can understand and visualize um, the colors really. The next, uh, so this is pretty much about applying a theming customizing a theming to your application now what, what I'm gonna do is apply something else so for the indigo let's go for a deep purple and for the accent let's go for cyan so it'll be cyan and now we don't need any arguments we just need let let this set as default for everything now once that's done you got the deep purple and a cyan as an accent color that's a good thing now likewise you can you can also provide alternate colors in your application, alternate themes in your application. So for example, for dashboard, you may need the color palette should be like a primary as a deep purple and cyan as a as your accent color. But for projects, you might need something else, some other alternate colors. To do that, let's have a, let's create a class called alternate. Um, we need to choose a color for that, right? So let's have teal, alternate teal. Okay, so teal theme. Now all we're gonna do is just copy this bit. Remember, we don't, we shouldn't be using including matte core again. So, okay, so just once in your application, it'll be teal. So I'm gonna have teal here. I need a beautiful accent color for the teal, which will be yellow, maybe. Right. So it's done, but we need to add a few more things in our uh, app component. So right in the project, so we need to include, I already have a bit of uh, source code available for our app component HTML. So let's go into our, where is it? In our projects tab and apply that. Let's see if the form element is picked up. It is there, but the style is still remains the same. To get the styling, all we need to do is in the div class example container, we need to add the alternate. We need to add this add this class that's pretty much about it so once that's done if you go to the projects you will see our primary color is set to teal and then our accent is set to yellow okay this is how you set alternate themes in your application alternate set of themes in your application all right so in the dashboard you will have cyan as your accent color and here you will have you will have yellow as your accent color I mean, there's a conflict between the radio buttons, as you notice, I'm just not, not going to bother much about this. All we bother is the colors and themes that are applied. OK, so that's all you need. Now you have a separate theme for a section of a page or a component. We can also extend this feature to provide users to have a drop down selections with various colors so that you can choose whichever theme they are comfortable with. But this is for separate lecture. Thank you for watching Code with Srini. Please drop in your comments for suggestions. Do subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you.